just the top 10 on my internet comment. Whatever I want to talk about, I'll just oh, and live with any woman and swing the relationship. You see, the marriage relationship is like a car that's supposed to be traveling on four wheels. But you can swing it with three wheels if you know what you're doing. You can swing that relationship. Because say for example you have three picnic, three three room with a woman and you go and leave and go marry to somebody else. When you go marry to that other woman you might have three three room with her same way. So now you have six child support coming coming up your trousers. What do you do? Might as well you just stay the same place where you are. So you have to learn how to bend the situation to your advantage. Now, in 1 Corinthians 7.33, he say, But he that is married careth for the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. So you must always try to please your wife or please the woman you're with. Now, suppose you're a man who loves big woman, guitar shaped woman, and the woman you get is a big woman with guitar shape. That's all you're gonna get. Your need is being met. If she can cook, that's a plus. If she can wash, that's a plus. If she can talk, to you correctly that's a plus if she have some kind of education that's another plus if she come from a good family that's another plus accept her how she is and overlook all the faults that she has suppose you want a woman who have class and one who make you look good wherever you and she go and the woman you get is like that Give God thanks for that which is in her. Your, your position has already been blessed. So, overlook all of her other shortcomings. Don't talk about it. Don't point it out. Don't blame her for it. Nothing. Just give her thanks for the one things about her that blesses you. If you is a person who loves sex and the woman have sex, she don't make you ask her for anything. Give God thanks for that. 